basically what chroma keying is, is selecting a color and then getting rid of it and replacing it with another color image. So let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to get our image with the color we want to replace. For example, I'm going to be using this image of the guy on a green screen. And then heading down to our layers palette and then holding alt, we're going to double click on the layer. Now as you can see, we have our layer unlocked. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our image that we want to replace the background of our other image with. Grab our move tool, shortcut key is V, and just drag it right on top of our other image. Place it out, and when you're happy with that, we're going to go back into our layers palette and drag the image with the background we want to keep right on the one with the background we want to replace. Now you're going to make sure that the image with the background you want to replace is selected. And you're going to head on up to select color range. Now with this, you're going to take a sample of the color you want to replace using this little eyedropper tool. And with this fuzziness scroller, what you're going to want to do is you're going to try to get what you want to keep as black as you can get it and what you want to remove as white as you can get it. Then you're just going to hit OK. And now you can see we have this selection around our image. What you can do is you can just hit delete, or before you hit delete, you can go up to select, modify, contract, and enter a value of about one pixel. What this will do is it will expand your selection just a tiny bit so it make sure that you don't cut any pieces of it off. Or if you want to bring it in a little bit, you can go to select modify, expand, and you can enter a radius of about 2 pixels and hit enter. Now if I was to hit delete, you can see that I have this nice smooth image with no green on it at all. This has been my tutorial on how to chrome the key in Photoshop. <laughs>